We're following a developing story on Lake Michigan tonight as swimmers are ordered to stay out of the water in parts of northwest Indiana. Investigators are trying to identify a substance that has shown up in the water today. Preliminary tests show that most of what it is is harmless. But not clear yet what else is in the substance. ABC 7's Ben Bradley live with the story. Ben. Ron, Kathy, the big sign says that all uh, substance with metallic flakes turned up in the lake. And until authorities can say for certain what it is, they've banned swimming at about a dozen miles worth of beaches up and down the Indiana shoreline. Chopper 7 HD overhead as a dark, slimy substance snakes its way through the southern tip of Lake Michigan. Something's in the water that shouldn't be there. Carl Dolan says he's never seen anything like it here at the Indiana Dunes. Early this afternoon, several people emerged from the water coated in the stuff. They were worried when they saw the two kids come out the water, and the one was, you know, his, his head and his half of his body was covered a little bit uh, in black. So, I mean, it became worrisome at that point. Authorities quickly closed the beach to swimming, and early analysis only concluded it's not oil. As a precaution, tomorrow there will be no swimming from Porter Beach east to Michigan City, Indiana. That is until they determine what is floating in the lake. We're completely baffled to what it truly is, uh, whether it came from one of the steel mills, and was something out of their uh, smokestack or possibly was washed off of one of the big barges as they came into the harbor. And we've got late word from conservation police. Preliminary tests show that it, the chemical is some type of chemical that's used in food preservation. They're going to do another round of tests tomorrow morning to see if they can hone in on what exactly it is and determine whether or not it poses any type of safety risk. So they're asking people to stay out of the water until they can get those test results back tomorrow. We're live in the Indiana Dunes. Ben Bradley, ABC 7 News. Ron. All right. Thanks, Ben.